Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Morning Guides, a YouTube channel that main goal is to make you better at editing. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can create clone tray effect using Visual Resolve. To get started, I'm gonna make a copy of this video, dragging it to video 2 while holding Alt button. Then I'm gonna right click on it, freeze the frame. After I freeze the frame, I can delete the first part of it and I can adjust the second part of the video until the marker, which is gonna be the area my first clone is gonna be appearing. That way I'm gonna be sure that they're gonna be matching. Then I'll be going to the color tab and because the clone that we're gonna be adjusting is on the clip number 2 we're gonna make sure that we're clicking on video number 2 that way all the changes that we're gonna be applying is gonna be about that video then you need to click on this icon and select the pen which is the item that we're gonna be using to mask the video then I'll be going around the object that I want to mask and make a clone of it and after I'm finished with that I'm gonna go on the notes on the right side I'm gonna create an alpha output and connect the video with that alpha output after that I'm gonna go down on the softness and I recommend you to put on the inside 0.60 and on the outside 0.20 that way that masking cut is not gonna be looking so hard and it's gonna be a little bit more soft, more natural now I will go back on the edit tab so you can see how my first clone is gonna look like now I'm gonna add an ending effect on that one you can do also that by going in the effects library, video transitions and my personal preferences is blur dissolve which uh, like I said I'm gonna add in the end of that so it's gonna create the illusion of disappearing and actually I'm gonna shrink to make it a little bit faster and before I continue I'm gonna run it once again so you can see what we just did and now in order to make the second clown we're gonna copy the first clip again we're gonna place it on video number 3 then I'm getting the marker and I'm placing it on the place where I want my second clown to be right clicking on the third clip and I'm gonna freeze the frame again and also same as the first time we're gonna delete the first part of it and we're gonna stretch out the second one until the mark to make sure that they're matching and since that is the video number 3 when we're going on the color tab we need to make sure that video number 3 is selected before we start and then I'm picking the pen again and going around the object and then creating again the alpha output connecting the video to the alpha output adjusting the inside outside softness 0 0.60 0 0.20 like the first one and then on the edit tab I'll add a blur effect like I did on the first one to look even better you can find the song that is matching the beats and this is what I just made And if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like it and subscribe for more. See you in the next one.